Hey guys, so for today's back to homeschool video, I am going to show you all of the books I have for my kids to read, all of their assigned readers, as well as some books I picked up just to be enjoyable reads for them, as well as my read alouds for them. Um, but before I get into that, I wanna show you today's giveaway. Today's giveaway is going to be a $50 gift certificate to my Usborne site. I'm really excited about this one just because not only has Usborne blessed our family immensely just by me being a consultant, but the resources and the books and the activity books have been a huge help in our home as supplements, as books that have encouraged my nervous readers, um, as books that have just really given them inspiration to be creative, nature books, etc. I love using these books in our homeschool. These are just a few of my favorites, a few of the books that we love using in our homeschool. Timelines of World History is a great supplement. The State Capitals book has been helpful with our map drills. We've been using the Spanish book and our morning basket for about a year now to do Spanish with my kids who are a little too young to use Rosetta Stone. 100% the Lift the Flap math books, fractions and decimals, telling the time, multiplication, addition and subtraction. Those books have been the most helpful in, um, for my older two kids, hands down. But my favorite books are the activity books. And here's just a quick overview of a few of our favorite activity books. These are great supplements in your homeschool, great to keep in the car, great to throw in a morning basket, to use between subjects when you wanna keep your kids at the table, but maybe not everybody else is done yet. So two things, one, Right now, we are offering a $30 joining special. If you would like to join and be a part of my team, that goes through the end of the month. I'll put the link below if you're interested in that. And two, make sure you check out the description box for how to enter the giveaway. All right, so good luck to whoever wins that. I can't wait to see what you choose. Make sure that you go into the description box below to enter that giveaway. So this year I'm doing something different and I'm assigning them um, readers according to where we are in history. Um, that is definitely different. I have not done that traditionally. If anything, I'll do a read aloud as a family with something that corresponds to where we are in history. But this year, um, I just decided that our kids need to start reading some things on their own, some independent. They're always reading on their own, but as far as like some assigned readers on their own, I want them to be doing some of that. Um, during their quiet time or in the evenings and so I've picked up some books that go along with where we're going to be in history We're doing story of the world. We're finishing cycle three and getting ready to start level four volume four um, Sometime in late winter early spring um, So I picked up some assigned readers and some read alouds based on that as well as some books that I wanted to grab for my son based on some of your recommendations now that um, he's reading just some fiction for pleasure and then um, I can't remember if there's anything for my daughter hmm I, can't, I don't think in this haul there's anything specific for her because she's just reading what she usually reads um, all the different series that she loves if you want to see that video it's gonna be up here that's um, Bella's book review um, and then just like I said some of the family read alouds that really have nothing to do with history but they're just books that I'm wanting to read with them so without further ado I'm gonna flip you around here and show you all of the books spread out on our dining room table okay so um, here is Bella stack she is my fifth grader she is 10 years old um, she is going to be actually she's gonna be starting with Felicity because we're gonna be starting with the Revolutionary War so um, she's gonna do this book and then girl with a musket is set at the same time this is from the good and the beautiful library I have his Indian brother for her to read I actually bought this um, last year and we never read it so I have this for her um, Valley of the Moon the diary of I'm not even gonna try um, so yes Valley of the Moon I love the dear America books and then she also has seeds of hope the dear the gold rush diary um, we're going to be in history from the Revolutionary War all the way through the Civil War, so you're going to see um, Trail of Tears, Gold Rush, all of that um, in some of these selections. And then a picture of Freedom, the Dear America book as well. She is such a reader, so I actually don't want to limit her by giving her too many assigned readers, but these are the um, all like historical based where we're going to be in history. And then as far as like um, reading that she'd enjoy she can choose that on her own but I do have these two as suggestions for her even though I bought these for her brother but she is such an animal lover and we're gonna be in zoology this year so I did get her 
um, Gentle Ben and Rascal. Both of these are animal books and um, they can be for the both of them. So my third grader, Jesse, um, who's a very young third grader, he's actually turning eight next week. Um, I got him Calico. He is right now reading Lions in the Barn. It's another book from um, the Good and the Beautiful Library, which I forgot to grab when I'm filming this video here, but just know he's reading Lions in the Barn right now. So I also thought he would enjoy Calico. This is from the Good and the Beautiful Library. This one I need him to read fairly quickly because I actually purchased this for one of his friends um, who I know will love this book. So I want him to read this um, next up so that he can pass this along. Then he has um, My Name is America, which is like the Dear America series, but they're the stories um, written by boys. Um, and some of these My Name is America books may actually be read-alouds for our family, but I bought them with him in mind. So A Revolutionary War Patriot, William Thomas Emerson. My Name is America, The Journal of Jesse Smoke, which is a Cherokee boy from the Trail of Tears. This is the one I was thinking might be a read-aloud because it's the only Trail of Tears book I bought. And then The Journal of James Edmund Pease, who is a Civil War Union soldier. And if you're wanting to see the inside, I bought all of these books used. So. Um, they're not written like chapters, they're written like journal entries, just like the Dear America books. I also have Shel Silverstein book that my daughter read. And then um, suggested books for him because he read the Bear Grylls series and loved those books. Um, and he's been just kind of looking for a new series to read. I got him the Sugar Creek, Sugar Creek Gang books. And we'll see what he thinks of these. If your kids have read these, let me know what they think. But they seem... Um, you know, on the smaller side, like books he can read in between some assigned readers. Um, but again, it'll be up to him and if he likes that series. Um, these are our read aloud. So I'll show you my kindergartner does not really have assigned readers, but I did get him a couple of books to go along with history. So I got him this, if you were a kid during the California gold rush that I'll read with him. And then I also got this landmark, Liberty, How the Revolutionary War Began, that I planned to go through with him. And then any reading in addition to picture books and his all about reading that he's going to be doing, if he's wanting to do any more reading, I have this. This is the Esborn, my first reading library. I've shown it to you guys a ton, so I'm really not gonna, um, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but you know, my second grader finished this at the beginning of last year and I'm ready to pass it along to my kindergartner. Um, and then these are our read aloud. So these are some books that I know we're going to be reading aloud. We're also going to be listening to, um, going to finish this, the, um, Little House series on Audible. Um, but these are, some of these are historical. Some of these are just fun books to break up other books that we're going to be reading, but these are where I'm wanting to be with our read aloud. So we have Slave Boy and Judea. Um, this is from the Good and the Beautiful Library. We have Lady Cake Farm. Oh, did you color on yourself? Yeah. Oh my. The Chocolate Touch looked fun, like a quick read aloud as a family. The Indian in the Cupboard, of course. Um, the Perilous Road, when we are doing, I believe this is the Civil War. Um, no, yes, the Civil War. Yes. Um, Johnny Tremaine is the one we're going to start with because... Oh, I see you did do a dot all over yourself. So this is for during the revolution. I've been waiting to read this one for about three years now. It was recommended a while back and I knew we were gonna be in this time in history. Oh, there's lions in the barn. Can you what? No, don't paint the wall. Um, there's lions in the barn, that's my son. And then pink and say, yes. Get what? I don't know what you're talking about. Sure. Um, Pink and Say is one that we're going to be reading um, toward the end of the school year. So that's what I have planned for our family read alouds this year as far as like history goes. And we may not make it through all of them and we may switch it out for some other fun read alouds in between. Um, but these all happen to go along with where we're going to be in history this year. I would be really interested in hearing what some of the read alouds are that you've chosen for your family this year. So let me know for sure in the comments below. I hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments below what your assigned readers are this year or any books you're looking forward to reading aloud together as a family this year. Um, and I will see you guys back here tomorrow for another day of back to school week. Bye guys.